Hi guys! In my last video I showed you how to make this cute little pumpkin treat holder using the Art Philosophy cartridge and the Artiste cartridge. And I told you I was going to do a ghost and Frankenstein. Well, I've gone ahead and done the little ghost. Didn't it turn out cute? I love that. I used the same uh, box pattern that you'll find in the Art Philosophy cartridge on page 22. I cut this out at seven and a half inches using white cardstock and I just glued two uh, medium sized Google eyes on there for the ghost eyes for the ghost mouth on page 32 in the Art Philosophy cartridge you'll find an oval right there and I cut that out of black and I cut that at half an inch and glued that on the front. Now the little tag I found in the Artiste cartridge and that tag is on page 64 and I cut that out at two and a half inches out of white and I stamped it Ghostly Greetings and that came from the Cards TV October 31st stamp set. Here it is right down here. Ghostly greetings. And it fit perfectly on that little tag cut at two and a half inches. And then I tied it at the top with some black and white gingham ribbon just like I did for the little pumpkin. Now today we're going to put together a Frankenstein box. <laughs> so I'm going to get everything over here that we'll need and we'll get started on our Frankenstein treat box. Here you can see I've already cut out the little treat box. This is on page 22 just like for the ghost and the pumpkin and I cut that out at seven and a half inches out of this lime green cardstock because Frankenstein's supposed to be green I think. I've already folded up and creased all the score lines and as you can see I've already drawn his mouth on and I just used this uh, zig ball roller pen and just drew a squiggly line. Now this is a face that I have seen all over YouTube. Uh, lots of people have done this face before and I just think it's the cutest. The last one I saw was Dawn from DawnStampingThoughts.net. She just does the cutest little things. I love going to her channel and watching her videos. So thank you, Dawn, for showing this one because I love it. So there's Frankie's mouth. Now, for Frankie's eyes and nose, which I've already cut out, I just used some circles. And these circles are on page 21 in the Art Philosophy cartridge. There they are right there. I cut two of the lime green circles and I cut them in half to go on top of his eyes. And then this one was left over for his nose. And I've still got an extra one so I can use that on another box. Now for the white part of his eyes, I cut two circles. And the green circles and the white circles were cut at three quarters of an inch. Now the black circle for the inside of his eyes same page, page 21 in Art Philosophy, and those were cut at half an inch. And I've gone ahead and put his eyes together. You can see how simple that is. I've got them on some foam tape, and same thing for his nose. That's just a half a circle. It's on foam tape. And just to help it stand out a little bit more, and I'm going to turn his nose kind of crooked. I went around the eyes and the nose with some Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink. I just thought that would make it really cute. Now he needs some of that pointy hair like Frankenstein has. So I turned over to page 61 in the Art Philosophy cartridge. And right down here under font I found this zigzag border. So I cut this out of black at three quarters of an inch. And you can see it's zigzag on both sides. So I just cut it in half 
which will give me some hair for another box. And I'm going to put this right here. And once I get it glued on, I'll just take my scissors and snip off those little edges that overhang because this is an oval shape. Isn't that going to be cute? So I'm going to go ahead and get his face all stuck down. And then we'll come back and put the candy inside and get this all tied up and put our tag on. And it's going to be really cute. It's going to be a cute little Frankenstein. Not too scary. Okay, I've got Frankie's face all adhered down. I've got his hair on. And I'm just going to flip it over and trim this off. And then we're going to put the candy inside. Get this all tied up and we'll be done. Got a little bit more there. Isn't he cute? Love him. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put our candy in. And I've been putting three of these Hershey's miniatures inside. Then you bring these sides up, and they've got a notch in them. So you just overlap the notched edges, just like in the pumpkin. This paper's a little bit stiffer. There we go. Then we're going to pull this up. And you can see how he's going to look there. Very cute. And I've already cut some quarter inch black and white gingham ribbon like I used on the ghost and the pumpkin. And I'm going to thread this from the back. And to the front. And I want to get this evened up and I want the bow to be in the front. So when I pull it together, it's going to look like that. Oh, super cute. Now I've already stamped my tag. And this tag comes from page 64 in the Artiste's cartridge. And I cut it out of white at 2 and a half inches. And for that sentiment, I used Frankly Frightful from the Cards TV Frankly Frightful Halloween Stamp Set. I thought that went perfect with him. So I'm going to go ahead and thread that through. Let's hope my ribbon's going to go through here. And I'll tie this up and I will have my little treat boxes all done for the guys at the office. Go ahead and tie this in a nice little bow. Here are all three of my finished treat boxes, and I think they are so stinking cute. So quick and easy. They go together in minutes and require no adhesive except to put the faces on. So be sure and check these out in the Art Philosophy and the Artiste cartridge, guys. They're lots of fun, and I think it's going to be fun to give these to. Thank you so much for coming by and spending some time with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I will see you again soon. Bye now.